Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Last week, we learned how Summerside PEI went from zero electricity generation to becoming the leading city in Canada, integrating renewable energy into their grid in a few short years. With a small wind farm, the beginnings of a smart grid, and some innovative electric thermal energy storing furnaces, they got to producing 46% of their electricity locally from renewable energy. But as Greg Goody, Director of Municipal Services, tells us, they didn't stop there. Since then, they've installed solar and battery storage, and they've created a micro smart grid in Summerside. 2017, we embarked on a smart grid demonstration project at our large wellness facility called the Credit Union Place. And that comprised of a 336 kilowatt solar farm. Coupled with that was a 250 kilowatt, 890 kilowatt hour storage system as a battery. So what we did with that system is we we did four different modes of operation with that system. And we linked it into our smart grid. So we had command and control from the utility. We had peak shaving for the facility at the credit union place. We also looked at the solar smoothing option in case the solar, small solar had issues with power quality inside the building. And finally, we didn't buy a generator for the credit union place because we had a battery which could be, which could Black Island the wellness center. The project is like a micro smart grid and the energy storage with solar has helped the building save about $80,000 a year. The batteries help them time shift solar power reduce peak loads, and as Greg said, it also provides backup instead of using a diesel generator. The success of this project inspired Summerside to go big with a solar and energy storage project called Sunbank. And Summerside Sunbank is basically the credit union play system on steroids. It, it has a 21.6 megawatt solar firm, and it also has a 10 megawatt 31 megawatt hour storage system on it for batteries. So that's our latest adventure, which brings the city of Summerside up into 62% renewable power being used locally here in the city um, to power its electrical needs. That's right. The city of Summerside went from no generation, except backup diesel units, to providing themselves with 62% renewable energy, with energy generated within the community. Remember the furnaces that store thermal energy from Part 1? Well, thanks to incentives by multiple levels of government, Summerside is now looking at expanding their program to heat pumps. We're now looking at expanding the program uh, to go into different type of appliances. There's This fall, we plan to hopefully launch a new heat pump that stores energy, and it can avoid times for four hours, which is good for our peak. Heat pumps are up to 300% efficient, which is a big improvement of the electric energy storing furnaces, and it provides something people are looking for as the climate warms. Very efficient air conditioning. And this could also help them use even more renewable energy. We're also looking into home battery systems, how they can play a part on that system. If we can control when the energy goes in and out, then that's worth a value to the utility. We could offer some fairly good rates, I think, on that electricity. We're, we're finding we have to adapt and adjust. So we're trying to make sure we have a product offer in our area that goes not just, not just being a heat pump efficient, but I call it beneficial electrification for the smart grid. So it can be timed to match renewables or also be timed not to hit our peak. The level of innovation in Summerside makes them a national leader as does their focus on affordability and energy security. They are now working on developing a solar-powered, energy-positive smart grid neighborhood complete with energy storage. Learn more at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.